Hello everybody. Welcome to today's sermon on the go. Last week I took a funeral and the person the deceased was buried in our churchyard. The next morning as I was going to church for morning prayer and saw where the person was buried, I was struck by the fact that here is a lovely man who have lived his life with his family and friends. He have passed on and he has been buried. And in fact, I was actually reflecting on the fact that he has been buried deep down, six feet below, in a coffin covered with sand and his family left him to go home. I was actually reflecting on the fact that this man is lying beneath the ground. And I was struck again by the fact that there are some people who don't believe in God. When I think about it, my mind cannot fathom why people struggle to believe in the existence of God. I was struck by the fact that a person will be born, a person will come from the tummy, from the body of a woman. A baby will be born, very little and tiny, from the body of a woman. The baby will be tiny and they will grow through life and they will become like my size or the size of a full grown adult. But when this person dies, they don't put him back into the tummy of their parent. They have to bury them beneath the ground. Brothers and sisters, that calls for a deep reflection. And I am calling out of all those who don't believe in God. Today's message is for those who don't believe in God. Of course, it has the benefit of those who believe in God. Those who believe in God can listen to this message and benefit from it. But primarily, the message today is for those who are struggling to believe in the existence of God. You will be born from a woman's tummy, from the body of a woman. But when you die, you will have to be buried beneath the ground. You will be put into a coffin, covered up. They will dig the ground and place you beneath the ground and cover you with the sand. I want to bring to your attention that we are tripart. We are a spirit. We have a soul and we live in a body, in a physical body. So when you die, your spirit goes back to the person who gave it, which is God. We are told in scripture that God formed man from the dust of the ground. And he breathed into his nostrils and a man became a living being. Brothers and sisters, I don't know why you struggle to believe in God. I come to you today to introduce God, the Almighty God, to you. The I am that I am, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I came today to introduce to you Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who came and dwelt among us and went about among us. I want to invite you to submit to Christ, to believe in God, and your life will not remain the same. As I was reflecting on the person who have been buried in our churchyard, I realized that his family has left him. He is beneath the ground. He's there now, covered up, and he will stay there till God comes back again. Friends, brothers and sisters, you may ask me, 
What must I do to be saved? Or what must I do to believe in God? I want to submit to you that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That is salvation by belief. You confess with your mouth first that Jesus Christ is Lord and you believe in your heart that he was raised from the dead. You will be saved. The second step is salvation by grace. For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. So friends, the first step is salvation by belief. You confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and he was raised from the dead by God. The second step is salvation by grace. For by grace you are saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So salvation is the gift of God which is given to you through grace. The third and final step I want to share with you is salvation by righteousness. For he made him who knew no sin to become sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God. Once you believe in your heart, you confess with your mouth, and salvation is given to you through grace, the grace of God you automatically become righteous. The act of believing in Jesus Christ makes you righteous. Righteousness does not depend on what you have to do. Righteousness depends on what Christ did for you. Righteousness depends on what Christ did for you and I on the cross. So when you believe in your heart, you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved and that salvation is given to you by grace, through grace. It is not through any works. It is the gift of God. And once you are given that gift of God, you are automatically made righteous. You become the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, if you don't believe in God, if you struggle to believe in God, if you don't believe in the existence of God, in this time of global pandemic i want you to turn to christ for it is only him that can turn your hopeless situation around it is only him that can look after you through this terrible disease it is only god that can protect you from this terrible disease and illnesses going around i invite you to submit to christ and all shall be well with you in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>